Ρουητός ο Θεός ημών πάντοτε νύμφια ειν και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Γλώρη την κρακά, γλώρη την κυρουδιά μου εκεί, κόμποτε ο Σπίριτ του Θεού, δε χωρίς πράσιν των δημιουργών όλων των αιώνων. Γράζουν οι εμφράσεις την κύβερ ουλά, και την δουλειά μου να σημαίνει το σημαίνει το σημαίνει το σημαίνει το σημαίνει το For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. So so keep your pronouns so keep your words so keep your faith on the meal to be this this last year's this that I'm not allowed to hold the most people's to that of the Yankees that will support the laws of the three can be located in your territory. You who were lifted on the cross voluntarily of Christ our God who stood in the tender compassion. I will give you the unity to which you gave your name. Cause our faithful members to be glad in their power Because of my folly, I suffer misery and 
I am utterly bowed down by the love of the Lord and the sad face. For my months are filled with martyrs and there is no healing in my flesh. I was lifted and greatly humbled. I wore because of the growing of my heart. The Lord, all my desires before you and my growing was not hidden from you. My heart is troubled. My strength fails me. The light of my eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and neighbors brought near and stand against me. My near and kin stand far off. And those who seek my soul use violence, and those who seek evil for me speak folly, and they meditate on the sea all the day long. But I, like a desk man, do not hear, and I am like a he who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear, and who has no reproofs in his mouth. For in you, O Lord, I hope, you will hear, O Lord, my God. For I said, Let not my enemies rejoice over me. For when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my pain is continually written. For I will declare my transgression, and I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live, and are become stronger than I. And those who beat me are just and are multiplied. Those who repay me evil for those slander me, because I will see righteousness. And they threw away my love as though it were spitting corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O oh my God. Do not depart from me. Your speak to help me, O Lord, in my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord, my, oh my God. Do not depart from me. Your speak to help me, O Lord, in my salvation. O oh God, my God, I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh thirsts for you in a desolate and pastoral and waterless land. So in the holy place I appear before you to see your power and your glory. And if your mercy is better than life, my faith shall praise you. Thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as if you Pharaoh and fatness, and my mouth shall say praise to you with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remembered you on my bed, I meditated on you daily. For you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind me, your right hand takes hold of me. But they seek for my soul in vain. They could serve no one to the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the engines of the soul. They shall be portioned for foxes. But the king shall be glad to God. All who swear by him shall be with praise. For the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. Meditate on you at daybreak, for you are my helper and the shelter of your wings I will break and rejoice. My soul follows close behind you, your right hand takes hold of me. Joseph, I put you to the Lord, can I be okay with you? Can you be okay with you? To say, oh, it's not the only one I mean. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Joseph, see your prayers. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 Joseph. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline the ear to my supplication, O Lord, for my soul is filled with sorrows, and my soul does near the Hades, and come to my those who are down in the pit. And like a helpless man, free among the dead, like slain men thrown down and sleeping in the grave, and they will remember no more, but they are remembered from your hand, they may be in the lowest pit, in dark places, and in the shadow of death. Your wrath rested upon me, and you brought all your windows over me, you removed my acquaintances far from me. They made me an abomination among themselves. I was betrayed and did not go forth, and I was beaten from poverty, O Lord. <laughs> I try to teach you all the day long. I spread out my hands to you. When you were wonders for the dead, the most physicians raised them up and acknowledged me. So, anyone in the grave described me with mercy and the truth and destruction. Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in a forgotten land? But I cry to you, O Lord, that in the morning my prayer shall come near to you. Why, O Lord, do you reject my soul and turn your face? I am poor in the troubles from my youth, but having been exalted, I was humbled, and for I am despair. Your fears have been passed over me, and your terrors made me trouble me. They were passed me like water all the day long. They surrounded me at once. 
You were a little far from me, neighbor and friend, and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God, my salvation, <coughs> I pray day and night before you, let my prayer come before you, and find it here to my supplication, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his holy words. For it's merciful to you, to all your transgressions, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things, and be with as many like the eagles. The Lord shows mercies and judgment. To all who are wrong, he made known his ways to Moses, the things he will to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us <coughs> according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes their transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how he formed us, and he knows we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as a father of the field, so he nourishes him. <laughs> For the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain. But the love of the Lord is from all eternity, and to all eternity for those who fear him. And his justice is upon the children of children of those who keep his covenant and remember his laws to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Over all things, his kingship is free. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you strong and mighty ones who obey his word. When hearing the sound of his decree, bless the Lord, all you his powers, his attendants who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, all my soul. Bless the Lord, all my soul in every place of his dominion. O Lord, hear my prayer, and your truthfulness give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me. And enter not to judgment with your servant, since of all the living none is just in your sight. The enemy has hunted me down. He's crushed my life into the ground. He has forced me to live in darkness like those long dead. My spirit fades with grief, and within me my heart is in despair. I recall the days of old. I meditated in all your deeds. I pondered the works of your hands. I stretched out my hand to you like a parched land. My soul thirsts for you. Make haste to answer me, O Lord. My spirit is filled with you. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those in the pit. Grant that I may hear your steadfast love at dawn, for I have placed my hope in you. O Lord, teach me the way I should go, for I have lifted up my soul to you. O Lord, deliver me from my enemies, it is to you that I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness you will deliver me from affliction, and in your loving kindness you will destroy my enemies. And bring to naught all those who oppress me, for I am your servant. O Lord, hear my prayer, and your truthfulness give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me. May your good spirit lead me on the straight path. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God, our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace we'll speak to the Lord. For heavenly peace and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the whole world, the stability of God's future, and for the oneness of all, let us pray to the Lord. Yes, Lord. For this holy cause and all whether it we face reverence and hope we fear, let us pray to the Lord. Yes, Lord. For our artists of the bill of order of the order of Christ to the deacons in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Yes, for our country, the president, and all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Yes, Lord. For this city and 
is far as from every city and land, and for the faithful to live in there, let us pray to the Lord. O clever and rather abundance of the goods of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those who have violence in her, for those who are sick or suffering or in captivity and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That we may despair of all affliction, of danger and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Give us, save us, have mercy on us, and give us a God in your grace. We may be our most for you, your blessed and glorious way, even the Lord's earth and Mary, we all the saints, let us commend ourselves to one another, and our whole life of Christ and God. O ti prego, si passa a nostra divinità e non si insisto, ma credi tu io che tu hai più grande, ma ti inizia a inizia di sussione a suo nome. Amin, Deo, Spirito, 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 all the Gentiles surrounded me, but I called them back in the Lord's name. Theos, Kyrios, Kepephanelimi, Erloimenos, Orkomenos, and Anomati Kyriu. This came about through the Lord, who is wonderful in our eyes. God is Lord and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Exipsus Gadilfes, O es Pagnos, da fica te dexon, primeron, in aimas electeros in topazon, iso ike anastasisimon, kiri evoxasi. Doxa Patrike, Yokia, Yoknegmati, let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad, for the Lord has shown the mighty power of his arm. He has trampled down death by death, becoming the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of hell and has granted to all the world his great mercy in both now and ever into the ages of ages amen unto you who meditated the salvation of our race we sing praises o virgin theotokos for your Son and our God in the flesh, that he is soon from you, accepted suffering by means of crucifixion, and has thereby set us free from corruption in his love for man. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Christ has risen from the dead, the first of those who have fallen asleep. The artificer of all things that were made was first born before all creation. Now he has renewed the corrupted nature of our human race in himself. O oh, death, you no longer have dominion, for the master of all has destroyed your power. 
Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. When you had physically tasted death, O Lord, you curtailed its bitterness by your resurrection. And you strengthened humanity against it by reversing the failure related to the primal curse. O defender of our life, glory to you, O Lord, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Seeing how beautiful was your virginity, and how your purity shone forth resplendently, amazed was Gabriel, who cried to you thus, O Theodorus, what shall I present to you as a worthy economist? What shall I address you as at a loss and am perplexed am I? And therefore I, as ordered, cry out to you, Rejoice, O maiden full of grace, at your divinity's immutability, and at your suffering's intentionality. Amazed was Hades, Lord, and thus lamented to itself and said, I tremble at this human frame's uncorrupted hypothesis. I see the invisible one waging war only secretly. Hence those whom I am holding are crying out, Glory to your resurrection, O Christ. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We, the believers, now theologize about the inexplicable, incomprehensible, unspoken mystery of your crucifixion and resurrection. For today the realm of death and of Hades has been despoiled, and vested is the human race with incorruptibility. And therefore in thanksgiving we cry aloud, glory to your resurrection. Direction, O Christ, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. You carried mystically within your womb the one incomprehensible, unsubscribable, and coessential with the Father and the Spirit, O Mother of God. By your giving birth, we know that the Trinity's energy, singular and unconfused, in the world should be glorified. And therefore, in thanksgiving, we cry to you, rejoice, O Lady full of grace. <clears throat> Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. When the hosts of the angels saw how you were recounted among the dead, they all marveled. You, O Savior, are the one who destroyed the might of death. And when you arose, you raised Adam with yourself, and from Hades liberated everyone. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Very early in the morning, the myrrh-bearing women were hastened to their tomb lamenting. But the angel appeared to them and uttered, The time for lamentation has ended. Weep no more. Go announce the resurrection to the apostles. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We bow down in worship to the Father and His Son and the Holy Spirit. 
the Holy Trinity, one in essence, and we cry aloud with the seraphim, Holy, holy, holy are you, O Lord. Lord, 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 Bless him who sells on him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the Lord, hallelujah. Again and again, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Dear God, save us from mercy, and us and give us a God in your grace. Remember our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious faith, and the Adolphus and the Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life, Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For blessing is your name and glorified is your kingdom, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and always and forever and ever. Amen. Astounding in appearance, refreshing by the words he spoke, the flashing angel said to the murdering women, Why do you look in the tomb for the living one? He is risen at his empty the tombs. Know him the unchanging changer of corruption. Say to God, how awesome are your works, for you have saved the human race. Also draw me up from the passions of the life, those who shall so shed in every tears when the sounds in his pride. Join us through the harvesters of life that burn on us Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to the ages of ages of men. In the Holy Spirit, as in the Father and the Son, radiated principally after his goodness, and in him, all things both live and move. Unless the Lord built the house of the virtues, in vain do we labor. But if he protect the soul, no one can conquer our city. O Christ, the fruit of the womb, by the Spirit are the saints forever as adopted sons to you as to a father. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit are perceived a holiness and wisdom, for he gives substance to all creation. Since he is God, let us worship him as we do the Father and the Logos. Those who fear the Lord are blessed and will walk in the ways of the commandments, for they will lead every kind of fighting produce. Gazing on the offspring round about your table, bearing good branches of good works, be that a heart that has Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages of men. With the Holy Spirit is all the world of glory. From the ambition, grace of life to all creation, when he is exposed with the Father and the Holy Ghost. Say among the Gentiles, the Lord is King, for he established the world which shall not be shaken. Say among the Gentiles, the Lord is King, for he established the world which shall not be shaken. O sing a new song to the Lord. Say among the Gentiles, the Lord is King, 
for he established the world which shall not be shaken. Dearly fallen, dearly son, from the tomb you rose today, O Lord of tender compassion, also from the gates of death you let us out, O our Savior. On this day is Adam dancing and Eve rejoices, and with them together, patriarchs and prophets are unceasingly extolling the divine power of your authority. Let heaven and earth dance for joy today in the oneness of mind and soul, Christ God, for he resurrected the prisoners from their tombs. All creation rejoices together, offering worthy songs to the creator of all and our redeemer. For today is the giver of life, having drawn mortals up from Hades. He exalts them to heaven together and lays a curse on the enemy's haughtiness and smashes the gates of Hades by the divine power of his authority. When you come down to the earth, O God of your glory, all things will come to power tremulous, and a river of fire will draw before the judgment seat. The book shall open up a public knowledge for the world, the things hid to be. Rescue me then, I pray, from the principal fire, and not be worthy to stand at your right hand, O oh, you most righteous judge. Consider it well your fearsome judgment, exceedingly good Lord, and the judgment day. I shudder and am afraid at the accusations of my conscience. When you are seated on your throne and conduct examination, no one can deny your sins, accused by the truth and possessed by terror. Great will be the sound of the judgment of fire, then in the gnashing of sinners. Therefore have mercy on me before the end, and pity me of you, most righteous judge. On February 27th, we commemorate our devout father and confess the Procopius of the Capitals. On this day, we also commemorate the holy martyr Elasius, who was commanded by the ruler to mock baptism, but was truly baptized and died by sword. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father Dilemmas. On this day, the devout Stephen, who founded the home for the elderly in Armadius, reposed in peace. On this day, St. Lysius died after being beaten in ox with perhaps high woods. On this day, we also remember the second and impartial coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. When you, the judge, will sit in judgment, may you judge me worthy of the common invitation. In your ineffable love of humanity, O Christ our God, make us worthy of your auspicious voice. Number us among those at your right hand, and have mercy on us. Amen. He came to me, a helper and a shelter for salvation. He is my God, and I will glorify him. The God of my Father, in him will I exalt, for he is greatly glorified. Establish upon the rock of your commandments, my heart, O Master. Sorely shaken as it is, O Lord, only you are holy, and again only you are Lord. When hearing of our breath, and the Lord, the Father, and the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the the Lord, and the Lord, the Lord, and the Lord, the Lord, and the Lord, O Lord, I have heard the report, and I am drawn by turn. Glory to your power, O Lord, my God. Early in the morning I awake from night. Lover of man, I pray, give me light and guide me in the ways of your commandments. And teach me ever to do your holy will, O Savior. I heard a lot and shall it work all my heart unto me. Tender loving heart, and we heard my voice from the lower depths of the Hades, and we raised my life from the view of corruption. We sinned, O Lord, and we broke your law. We behaved unrighteously before you, and neither have we kept your word, nor acted according to the way you commanded for us. Yet, O God of our fathers, we pray, do not utterly deliver us up. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. 
Send it to the people in your spirit that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions and sins by my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth. You showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with this up and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones of the humble shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take the Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressions and ways of the God that shall turn back to you. Deliver me from my guiltness, O God, the God of my salvation. And my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with all burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a holy, broken spirit, a broken, humble heart. God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure, Zion. And let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings of hope, burnt offerings. Then shall they offer him bulls on your altar, and have mercy on me, O God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever. Open to be the gates of repentance, O giver of life. For holy and holy, your spirit hastens to my holy, your holy temple, bringing the temple of my body of the south. But as one compassionate, cleanse me, I pray, by your holy kindness and mercy. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Guide me in the paths of salvation of Theotokos. For I have befouled my soul with shameful sins. And I heedlessly squandered all of my life's resources. By your intercession, deliver me from every uncleanness. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. When I pondered in my wretchedness on the many terrible things that I have done, I tremble from the fearful day, the day of judgment. But trusting in her, with compared mercy of your compassion, like David, I cry to you, have mercy on me, O God, according to your O oh God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion, not leave the strength of all the Christians. So that upon us your abundant mercies, through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the Theodorus and the Virgin Mary, through the power of the precious and life giving cross, through the prayers of the Holy of the Bodiless Heavenly Powers. All the honor of glorious God and the forerunner of John the Baptist, all the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, of our fathers, some of the saints and great ecumenical teachers and hierarchs, based on the great Gregory the Theologian and John, Jesus God, Athanasius and Cyril, John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Mira, Spirit of Tributus, and Nectarius of Pentapolis, and Wonder Workers, the Holy Glorious, Great Martin, George the Victorious, Demetrius the Mir of the Theodore of Mir, and Theodore the Commander, Minas the Wonder Worker, Eleutherius and Paralamus, the Holy Priest Martyrs, of the Holy Glorious, Great Martyrs, Tecla Barbara, Anastasia, Calvin, Kiriak, Nicotini, Marina, Parasperi and Irene, all the holy glorious and victorious martyrs of our venerable and holy city fathers, all the holy and righteous and sons of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints who men will be here today. We 
receives your love, we lost prayers to the Lord who is unto us sinners. We pray to you and can pray and see us. We need a nation, we Through the mercy and compassion and love for mankind, of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together, with your all good and life in His spirit. Now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Amen. For God to be the Lord of all the earth, and He is the Lord of all the earth. My soul magnifies the Lord of my spirit as we do sing of my Savior. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption be good to God the Lord, and are truly filled to push you to magnify. For the God of all the earth and the sons of the whole world shall be blessed for all generations to come. Give me the Lord, 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 the Of 
greatly rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name with dance with tambourine and all. Let them sing. For the Lord is pleased with his people, and he shall exalt the gentle with salvation. All the angels of the Lord, and they shall greatly rejoice on their lips. The high praise of God will be in their mouth, and a two edged sword in their hands. And the Lord's redemption to the nations with cruelty among the peoples. To shackle their kings with chains, and their nobles with fetters of iron. To fulfill among them the wind of judgment, his glory, and all his holy ones will come. O come, all you nations, no subpar of the awe-inspiring mystery. O Christ, our Savior, and the Lord, was who was in the beginning. All the terrible for us was crucified and buried, and he rose from the dead to save the universe. Let us worship him. Praise God in his saints, praise him in the firmament of his power. Those who guarded you reported all the marvelous events, O oh Lord. However, the Sahedrin of futility filled their hands with gifts, thinking that in this way they could hide your resurrection, which the world glorifies. Have mercy on us. Praise him for his mighty acts, praise him according to the abundance of his greatness. The universe was filled with joy in the experience of your resurrection. Mary met the living unto the tomb, and found an angel sitting upon the stone. With his garments flourishing with lightning, he said to her, Why do you seek among the dead, the one who is alive? He is not here, but has risen as he said, and is going before you to the Galilee. Praise him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with the harp and lyre. In your light we will see light, O Master, who loves humanity. For you have risen from the dead, and you granted salvation to the human race, so that all creation may glorify you, only sinless one, have mercy on us. Praise him with temple and dance, praise him with strings and flute, the mirror appearing with an offer of their tears, as the morning into you, O Lord. For in the possession of sweet smelling spices, they came to you to intent on anointing you, immaculate body for burial. The angels sitting on the stone announced to them the good tidings. For do you seek among the dead the one who lives? For as God, he has trampled on death, he has risen and has granted unto all his great mercy. Praise him with resounding symbols, praise him with triumphant symbols, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. I ponder that day and hour when we all naked and as convicts will appear before the judge we cannot cry. And then the great trumpet will sound and the foundations of the earth will be shaken and the dead will raise from the graves and all will become of one stature, and all that which is hidden will be presented overtly before you, and they shall mourn and wail who have never repented, and they shall depart into the outer fire, and with joy and exultation will the lot of the righteous enter into the heavenly chamber. Arise, O Lord, my God, let your hand be lifted high, and do not forget your glory to the end. O what an hour and fearful day shall that be when the judge shall surprise to fear some throne. Books will be opened, and deeds will be checked, and the hidden books of darkness will be made public. Angels be the God, gathering all the nations, come hearken kings and rulers, Christ and free men, sinners and righteous men, rich men and mockers, he is coming. 
Who is about to judge the whole world and who shall bear his countenance? When angels are hanging to the king's correct, your thoughts, your desires, be they of day or night. Oh, what an hour that shall be but for the end, before the end arise, O soul, make haste to cry. O God, convert me, save me, as you alone are compassionate. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your wondrous things. Daniel the prophet, a man of godly desires, considered God's authority and cried out, Bless and said, the judgment seat was set up and books were opened. Look, my soul, are you fasting? Do not neglect your neighbor. And you abstain, are you abstaining from food? Do not condemn your brother, lest you be sent to the fire that will burn you as, up as wax. Be unimpeded, let Christ lead you into his kingdom. Lord. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us first cleanse ourselves, O brethren, by the Queen of the Virtues. For behold, and she is here, providing us with the wealth of blessing. She suppresses our swelling passions and makes us offend us with the Master. Therefore, we welcome, let us welcome her with a cheerful honor. Crying out to Christ our God, you who rose from the dead, keep us uncondemned as we glorify you, only sinless one. Both now and ever, into the ages of ages, amen. You were supremely blessed, O virgin, failed all cause. For through him who from you became incarnate is Hades taken prisoner. And Adam has been summoned back, the curse has been neutralized. And Eve has been liberated, death has been put to death, and we have been brought to life. Therefore, extolling, we cry out, O Christ our God, you are blessed, so is your good pleasure. Glory to you. Voxa si don vix antito vos, Voxa en ipsi si
will be God of all the nations, and he will separate them one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will place the sheep as his right hand, but the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, O blessing of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I, wa I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? And when did you see you a stranger and wel welcome you, or naked and clothe you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these my brethren, you did it to me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, Depart from me, you cursed into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me, naked, and you did not clothe me, sick and in a prison, and you did not visit me. Then they also will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison, and did not minister to you? Then he will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did not did, did it not to one of the least of these, you didn't it not to me. And they will go away into eternal punishment, but they righteous into eternal
εσένα Κύριο Ιησού Χριστό, τον Υιόν του Θεού των Ορδινής, τον Εκτουπατρός και Μητέντα Αποβάτων των Αιών, φως εκποτός, Θεών αληθινών, εκ Θεού αληθινού, και η Μητέντα ούπη Μητέντα, ο Μούσιο το Πατρίδιο τα πάντα εγένετρο, τον δημάς τους ανθρώπους και διάκει την ημέρα σωτηρία, καταρτώντα εκ των ουρανών και σαρκωθέντα εκ νέματος Αγίου και Μαρίας της Παρθένου και Ανακροπίσαντα. Σταυροθέντα τα υπερημό και την ποντή του πυλάτου και ραθόντα και καθέντα και να σκάντα την τρίτη ημέρα κατά τα σαφάς και καρτώντα εις τους ουρανούς και κατεζόμενε με δεξιόν του Πατρός και πάνε με ερχόμενο με καταδόξεις κλίνες όντας και νεκρούς που της βασιλείας σου και στο τέλος. Και στο πνεύμα το Άγιο και το Κύριο και ο Ζωγιόν και ο Ερκουματρός εκπορευόμενο τον Συμπατρή και Ιώσυ προσκυνούμενο και συνοψαζόμενο τον Αλήσαν Διά των Προφητών. Εις μία Αγία Καθολική και Αποστολική Εκκλησία ομολογώ εν πάθισμα εις άφεση να μακριών προσδοκώ Ανάσταση νεκρών και ζωή του μέλλοντος σε όλους. Αμήν. Oh, 
Cristo soma, tu iteri monstro menor, que saca sempre a partiu. Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Drink of this soul of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is sent for you and for many, for the reason of sin. Of days, 
Through the praise of our Holy Father's Lord, Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. May the Holy Trinity protect all of you. Ye 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 Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. The third Sunday of the three Lenten season in the Orthodox Church is called, as we probably know, the Sunday of the Last Judgment. History is crucial. The Last Judgment. Let's be honest, all of us, this is a scary one, right? This is not the moment we like to think about. For sure, who wants to think about the last judgment of Christ, of God? It should scare us because the truth about each one of us is that we are, what else, sinners. We have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, according to the epistle of Paul to Romans. When the Lord describes in Matthew, Chapter 23, what happens after the judgment, having used the metaphor of sheep and goats to represent the righteous and the weak. Respectively, he uses rather concise language, and they, that is, the weak, will go away into eternal punishment, eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life, on the other side. This is not only the only time that we see the judgment described in the scriptures, but however, please remember the book of uh, Revelation, Apocalypse of St. John, who wrote it in the island of Patmos. When Christ comes to judge the world, he will judge us on whether we have loved our neighbor. The judgment then is on how we treat people, as we hear today, the Holy Gospel. The judgment ultimately is love. Yes, you hear it well. The judgment is love. Straight for many, I know. Did we love our enemy 
Do we love our neighbor? This is one question. Do we love our fellow human beings? That's it. That is it. Because the commandment of God, the great and holy commandment, the Shema Israel in Hebrew, for, for us, not that we uh, study the Hebrew language, Shema Israel is that you will love the Lord your God with all your mind, all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. That is how it's what in the New Testament as well. This means genuine love for the other person that results in love and action. We saw this love when we feed the hungry, give drink to the thirsty, clothe the, na the naked, visit those who are sick or in prison. If we did such things for the least of Christ, brethren, then we also did them for Christ. If we did not do such things for the least of the, of the brethren, neither did we that them for Christ. Many of us prefer to refrain, to avoid from discussing topics like judgment, sin, hell. We cannot hear this word. In fact, we prefer to just refuse this conversation. But the erroneous thought is that God, being a God of love, will never condemn anyone to eternal judgment. In the Orthodox Church and tradition, we devoutly affirm our belief every week in the creed that Christ, God, will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you remember that? We say that every time that we read the Greek, right? Some of us every Sunday, some of us every night in the Apostolic moment. So the question arises, how is God both the only lover of mankind as well as the righteous judge, since we refer to God as both? The answer to this important question begins with the affirmation that God in his great love and mercy toward us desires our salvation more than anything else. This divine will be clearly revealed in the Holy Scriptures. God desires all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, say Apostle Paul to one of his letters to Timothy, and revealed through the life of Christ was the Logos, the Word of God, has been revealed as that truth. No surprise then that the next verse in First Timothy Epistle says, For there is one God, and there is one mediator, mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. That the Father invites us into a relationship, a communion with him through his Son, Jesus Christ, that we too may put on Christ in the language of the Holy Baptist. In Christ, we become fellow victors with Him and all the saints over sin and death, those very enemies that Christ God became incarnate to defeat and which would otherwise keep us from life with Holy God. God's made a way, yes, a way, a road, a way for us to grow in holiness and participation in the life that He alone is so we can become inheritors of the new life in Him, part of the spiritual race of the new Adam, the new Adam is Christ. Such in His great love and mercy for us. He created us for love and communion with Him, definitely. He created us for adoption as His sons and daughters, co-inheritors with Christ. He created us to participate in His divine life, in the relationship for unity and love that God, the Holy Trinity, is in His divine nature. 
We see that growth in love and relationship with God is possible in the lives of the saints who cooperated with God's redemptive work in their lives. But at the same time, Christ in his mercy heals us from our sin. Sickness grows into the man and woman of God is called us to be. But this mercy, we came to enjoy the blessed life with God, the feeling of that emptiness, emptiness with us that only God is meant to feel and that only God can feel. Back to the question about love. Many of us we speak about love, right? God is love, definitely. But what we really need to ask is not how God can judge. No. This is not the main question. How God can judge. What we need to ask is how is it a love if we refrain from speaking of this truth about sin and judgment when given the opportunity? How is it love if we look sin in the eye and don't address it in our own lives or speak the truth with others with whom we are close? In so denial of the reality of the last judgment of the consequences of sin is the rejection of life and the possibility of glory. And that, brothers and sisters in Christ, is no love, but be careful, it's only self-condemnation. It's not love, it's self-condemnation. Now the reason that we spoke of this is that the season is upon us to take Christ's words, to care and apply the teaching of his body to church to our daily lives. Now it's time for us to read, to read ourselves to purge the passions and sin from our lives as we continue to strive when we grow to love and serve him. His church, that all of us we serve, and our fellow men. Now is the time to prioritize his Christ and his church on our calendars. All of us we have calendars, very busy calendars. I know that. Now is the time to speak with your priest about your participation and fasting so that you can make the most of this opportunity for deification, growth, healing, and salvation one day. But I would like to note the most important difference, the clear difference here in Christianity, in Orthodox Christianity, the way of life is not about getting to go to heaven when you die. Definitely it's not that. Nor about receiving other good gifts from God. That's part of it, definitely, one part of it. But the true character of the way is to get to know God, to connect with God, to commune with God. How can you tell if you are on that way as opposed to living, to living the paganized Christian life. Your priorities will be worship, prayer, learning the scriptures, and all the details of our faith. Humble service. Humble service. I say that again. I will say that always. See your soul searching in confession and genuine repentance. All of the other things we do in church flow from that central core, the, that place in the heart where we come to know God. If you wish at the end of time to be among the sheep, a prophet of the sheep, and the right hand of Christ, the righteous whose names are written in the book of life, then get to know God, please. Is the only opportunity. Find him, know him, 
and commune with him. Christ of God wakes us and say, come. I don't know how many of us will realize that. Today, as you probably know, is we call this Sunday Pisapotero, the Mithrio Sunday. Uh, we start uh, the Mistia, the fasting of Mithrio, you know, until the next uh, Sunday, which is the Mistia of Adam. So tonight evening, we stop with me. I love those Christians. Our lesson is a very serious reading. Uh, for the next week, we, from tomorrow, we start, you know, with dairy products until the next Sunday. It's still the Atipi Spiropath, Sunday the Church, the Church Church. So, and we close our month with, with Amen. This is the tradition back in Greece. Do you have a name? No, Kiri, cheese, Amen. We, we close our mouth next Sunday with A, and we open it. On the Sunday of the resurrection, of course, the Pascha, also with F, the red, from the Anastasis, the resurrection. So, but we have time to talk about that. And please keep in mind that we, today we stop in me. Again, for those who they can. I would like to read <coughs> uh, uh, an announcement from the Assembly of Canonical Orthodox Bishops of the USA of America. It is an appeal of for peace in Ukraine. All of us we know what's happened there, especially for us who have always in the background from this area. Greece, Saturday, February 26, 2022. The recent geopolitical developments and aggression against Ukraine will inevitably bring suffering and death for the innocent children, women, and men of the country, who are so many of them our brothers and sisters in the Orthodox Christian faith. Parenthesis, please note that the 98% of the faith are Orthodox Christians, since someone asked me if they are Christians in the faith. As the hierarchs of the assembly of canonical Orthodox bishops of the United States of America, we earnestly and urgently lift up our prayers for all the people of faith, imploring God that peace and justice may be restored in accordance with the spirit of the gospel, reflected in the words of St. Paul. For Christ is our peace. In his place, he has made both groups into one and has broken down the dividing wall that is, that hostility between us. As we prepare ourselves to enter the grateful time of the Holy and Great Land, a time of humility and repentance, we fervently and sincerely urge a change of heart, calling upon, upon all parties and all people to refrain from further aggression, withdraw of all weapons and troops from sovereign lands and stand to pursue the escalation and the restoration of peace through dialogue and mutual respect. I mean, I would like to raise personally to start praying on this people if you don't yet, if you didn't do so. Um, even please in your train thing in the I would like please to hear some announcements. How many of you have this bulletin today? Did you get it for the Nazis there? No? How are you? We have not for you guys. Yes. We see all the announcements that we have here. Okay, and I would like to remain in one announcement today about the Philoctopus. So Philoctopus will award two scholarships, each in the sum of $500. Students pursuing post-secondary degrees or certificates are encouraged to apply. The application is available on the website of the Philoctopus Ministries. 
and how copies are provided in the charts call. I'm assuming today. Complete applications but must be received on or before June 15 to be considered. Please see the application requirements and out for full details and for more information, please contact Angela Silatsos at his email or her phone number. Okay. <clears throat> I would like to share with you uh, another announcement since I don't see that here in the bulletin. Yes, it's not in the bulletin. I don't know why, but thank you. Next Saturday, uh, the second Saturday of the souls, Sipo Sabato, we will have Orphus and Divine Liturgy at 9 o'clock, as usual. Uh, five o'clock is the great baskers. Six o'clock, we will learn to make koiva, all of us, and especially for the youth ministry. Because we are more than welcome to come and see how we make that. And seven o'clock, we have movie family night. We will watch the new movie, new movie of the life of St. Nectarius of Aina. Please, you are more than welcome to come all of you. A pleasure to have you here. Okay. And again, if you don't see something in the bulletin, please also we have all this announcement of the Paris calendar from that website. You can have the information from there. Maybe something changed, maybe we add services. Please always check the Paris calendar of the website of the tradition of the Virgin Mary. Please come next Saturday, bring your polymer, and we will make the polymer for the parent next day, Sunday, with the youth ministry of our church. Mm -hmm. Katie, are you ready? Would you like to follow the polymer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll figure out right together. <laughs> okay, I don't have any other announcement. Please come to we'll receive your dinner. <laughs> Ah, não, o que ganhas? Isso é calado. Isso é calado. Isso é calado.